7th of March 2021 and the scan computer is going to be delivered today. Ordering a custom built PC from Scan Computers UK. This is video number 4 in the series which is on the quality of system build for this 5950X RTX 3080 64GB 3300pound monster. The components used, installation layout, the cabling and have they made any obvious mistakes? Let's find out as we check out the system before powering it up and do check out my previous videos in this series on ordering a custom built system from Scan Computers UK. And the computer is now being delivered. Little dents there. Should be okay. What's this? Check contents if seal is broken. Seal's intact. Let's take it inside and unbox it. See exactly what we've got. So before I open it and take the bubble wrap out, let's have a look what we've got. The back plate. The RTX 3080. He's got one, two, three, four, five ports. I thought he had four. So that's good, an extra port. I don't think it can power all five at the same time. I think it's from memory it's three, so it might be four if it's got five. So what's it got? It's got HDMI, HDMI, display port, display port, display port. So two HDMI and three display ports. That's the usual I.O. Power supply at the bottom, 1000 watt. And a window sticker! Yeah, all the clockers UK didn't put any on ours when we bought from them. Bought one from last year from all the clockers, there was no sticker on the case or anything. So at least they put a sticker on to say you got paid for windows, what's in it. What about the top? Yeah, just a, just a normal filter. Oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. The front is the mesh. It flexes. Flexi mesh, a little fractal logo there. Does this come off? Or is it the plastic comes off? It's got plastic all over that needs peeling off. Do you want to peel it off? Yeah. Yeah, slowly peel it off. Overall, the case looks intact. Nothing's broken. Yeah, so have a look at that slight indentation. I can see it from. Oh, can you see at the bottom? Is that line, or oh, it might be just uh, dirt, or uh, that earth? Yeah, it's probably the polished styrene discoloured it. It makes it look like it's indented, but it's not. See the line there, from this angle, it looks like it got slightly indented, but it's just the polished styrene where it's cut in and left a mark. I can't feel any indentation in my finger. But it looks like it's indented. I don't know if it's visible on the camera. A line. There's anyway, it's dirt. okay. Just yeah, it's just the polystyrene digging in. So now we're going to open it up and look yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, I'm take the bubble wrap off. If I can use it. Let's unscrew it. Look, you have to unscrew it. This panel is glass. You have to be careful. Oh, where's the screw gone? Should come off now. Careful. Should slide. Ow. Ooh, you broke it, Liza. Wait, you broke it? What did you do? You did it. All right, I'm only joking, it's all right. Ugh, that's the glass panel. To put it somewhere very safe. You can remove the bubble wrap. Here it comes your new gaming computer. It's got a lot of bubble wrap. Inside it. Oh, you can see the rad at the top. The radiator. Slowly the computer is being revealed. Yeah, don't pull that out. 
This is the bubble wrap. Only the pink stuff. And slowly the computer is being revealed. Eliza and Anika's gaming system. 5950X 16 core. Um, Daddy. Yeah, slowly, yeah, that's it. Put it on the floor. Out of the way, as you can see. Slowly, there's no rush. No, from the front. Yeah. It's got so much bubble wrap. They wrapped it well. Yeah. Oh. Overclock has used that expanding. Yes, the CPU being revealed. And the graphics card is being revealed. Slowly the system is making an appearance. Yo! And then we can look at the quality of the build. Slowly, slowly, don't... You don't want to... Break it. You don't want to pull anything. Slowly. Alright then. Let's, what do you think of the system, Liza? Cool! Cool, right then. Let's have a look. This is first look at quality of... Scan computers build. Now this system costs current price is £3,380. If you bought it now. So let's have a look at the quality of build. You can go now if you want. I'll do the rest. So, and then you can play a game. Yay! Call of Duty comes free with it. Free with RTX 3080. So now we're going to take a look at Scan Computer's build quality. Have they made any obvious mistakes? Or not? Is the cable management any good? Let's find out. So what stands out first? Um, yeah, the, they put the radiator in properly. Top. The pipes down. And there's the pump in the cooler in the CPU block. Uh, yeah, so the radiator has been put in the probably one of the the best locations, so that any air rises to the top below the inlet and is it the outlet where it collects any bubbles. So that should minimise any noise from bubbling that you tend to get with radiators. So that's a plus, they've not made that mistake. You know, another impression is very tidy, I can't see any you know, cables that shouldn't be where they are. Everything's quite tidy. Um, what have they have not put any drive cages up or anything. Uh, you know, all the cabling's tidy. The, GPU appears to be leaning slightly. That's probably because of its weight. Could have done with some support. Maybe I could put some support in myself. Let's put something here. Yeah. It's a heavy GPU. It's in a three. Is it a three? Yeah, look. It takes up three slots. Memories there. So it looks very tidy and properly laid out. Oh, another thing. Let's have a look at this. How many cables is? Is it two? Let me just check that. Yeah, it looks like it's two. That's good. You've got two cables plugged into the RTX 3080 card, so that it can support supply 300 watts. 150 per cable plus 75 from the PCIe slot so that's up to 375 watts for this Asus Tough Gaming card that's good, it didn't make a mistake a lot of people make the mistake our oh, system builders cut corners they use one one cable to the power supply and they like split the connector here that's a mistake that means you're going to have 225 watts supplying a card that can demand up to, I don't know, what is it, 375 watts, I don't know, 350, somewhere like that. I know it's over 300. So that's good, they've not made that mistake. Obviously, they're experienced. 
Um, what else? Yeah. Got back fan. These are come with the system, so they should be already in place. Just looking how many screws they got in. Yeah, they all got screws in, so they won't get vibration. The NVMe tools are in the under the heat sink on the board. Uh, what's that? Okay, hmm. yeah, so I'm not seeing anything negative so far in the system bill. What about the back? Really took the cover off. Save time. Okay, again it's very clean and tidy. The cabling is well rooted. They're using these meshes. Yeah, I think they've they put some kind of sleeve cover over it, haven't they? I don't think they're the cables that come with the Yeah, uh, they are. So they have some kind of sleeve over them. Mm -hmm. That might be a sleeve. Yeah, it is a sleeve. Yeah. So they have tidied up. Took some extra care. Use the sleeve. There's a. Maybe it's too tidy. So you're going to put your own hard drives in. You know, you're going to have to plug them, the cables into the power supply. Yeah. Down here. And root them to here. Into the drive cages. Got one, two, three. Yeah. Nope, there's no. Well, from what I can see, there's nothing extra plugged into the power supply. Hmm. But it's very tidy. I'm not seeing any negatives. Tidy cabling. Um, neat layout. A slight addition I would have made is give this GPU some support. It is sagging. I might just put some in there, just to lift it. Probably doesn't make any difference, but it's sagging. Yeah, under the yeah, just put some up there. Make sure it doesn't go into the fans. Got three fans there. It is sagging a little bit. That's not the problem or issue, but. It, I need some support. It is in three slots, but I still need support. Oh, and here's the scan USB disk that contains some recovery software, diagnosis. Uh, is it I think it's 16 gigabytes. Mm. Nice little pen drive. I don't think it's going to be of any use to most. Yeah. It is trinket you could wipe it and use it because there's the cable power supply motherboard and case brackets of sorts I think that's for you yeah they did install that did the yeah, so I think RGB for the case not necessary I don't know what these are heat sinks of course uh, for the heat sinks for the NVMe 2 drive, so they didn't use their heat sinks. Hmm, let's hope they don't run hot. So they're under there. Hmm, so they took the heat sinks off, they're pretty bulky. Didn't use them. The drive bays are in there as well. Yeah. I prefer if they use their heat sinks. You see how hot the drives run if I need to take it off and put them back on. That does not compare to this. 
This is a huge heat sink for cooling the drive. You know, I have to watch the temperatures, see how hot they get without the heat sink. So they didn't plug in the fan controller, which would go like so there. That'll plug into your motherboard. That'll plug into a SATA to power it. So you could power one, two, three, four, six, nine fans off this. And they basically didn't use it. It only comes with three fans anyway, so. Yeah, it would have been better if they'd utilised this. After all, you paid for it. What else? Yeah, there's no spray. Yeah. So that's the negative. You know, people paid for the fan controller. Expecting it as part of the specs of the case. And they don't, not utilised it. That's something I'm going to have to correct. That means rewiring. Uh, fan cable, the fan cable. I have to track down where they put, look, they've, uh, they put the cables tight. How do I use this now? If I want to put some extra fans in, if there aren't enough headers left on the motherboard. Yeah, so there's like put an extra fan there. Are there any spare headers on the motherboard? So they're taking a salute potential out by not including this not utilizing it I can power you know nine fans now you're stuck with what four uh, I'll have to see oh yeah there's a radiator as well have you got one there have you got now looking at the motherboard, I'm not sure which of the fan it is. I guess these are the bottom of the... I'll have to look. Hopefully there's at least... Yeah, that looks like one spare. Not sure if... Quality of build by Scan Computers. What would I rate it overall? Well... They haven't made any major mistakes. Cabling is very good. I would give them that. Better than I would do it. And the only negative is that, obviously. So, what? Uh, NVMe 2, that's a mistake they made. They're not using the Corsair. No. They're not using it, as I explained earlier. They didn't use that. And two drives in there, I might have to fix that as well if they get run hot. So they lose two points, so I give them 8 out of 10 for quality of build, because they made two mistakes. One is the fan, that's a minor one. You're probably not going to need that many fans, unless you're into RGB nonsense. But the not using the heat sinks could be a major issue. Depending on how hot the drives run. So they get 8 out of 10. Scan computers get 8 out of 10. So build quality. Not made any huge blunders. Overall it is good. Yeah, you get 8 out of 10 scan. 8 out of 10, that's the box. There it came in. And that's. There's the panel and there's the Meshifier's 2 case. 8 out of 10. Do check out my next video in this series when I plug it in and switch it on for the first time and we'll see what happens.